Scott, thanks for talking to us. You're through to the first round of the FA Cup. Just talk us through your cup run so far. Yeah, look, it's been, it's never, it's never easy getting to this round. There's always some challenges. We've certainly had some challenges on the way. Um, obviously, we've got a really good draw we're looking forward to, but it'll be our fourth away game on the, on the spin. So we've had to navigate our way as a club and a, and a, and a board and a group of players and staff through those, um, through those games. We had a, Obviously, we started with a tricky sort of away game down at Wimborne, which I think ticked a lot of boxes from us as staff. A lot of players approached it in a really professional way. Um, it wasn't the prettiest of games, but it was certainly a little bit of a banana skin that we managed to overcome. And then, of course, we had um, a really tricky tie at local uh, rivals, Chippenham, who, you know, look, we get on really well with them. We're full of um, respect for the way they play, and they, they tested us, um, particularly in in the first game but also in the replay in the early period so we had to find a way to, to get through that tie <clears throat> and then um, obviously we went as, probably as far as you can in the competition there um, to, in terms of distance to, to lower us off so um, that again was was a game that could have gone either way especially in the early exchanges but the lads found a way to, to get through that one and we're, we're delighted. A great run to get to this point, but how excited are you personally now for this game against Bristol Rovers? Yeah, I think it's um, I'm usually pretty measured. I think it's a game we're looking forward to. Uh, you know, the buzz around the club has been great. You know, it's been. It's, it, I'm really pleased that we're able to bring that to the younger element of our fan base, but also to, to people like Paul and Dennis. Um, who have been here for forever and a day so uh, and of course everyone in, everyone in between I'm really really pleased for the players and staff but like Scotty Rogers said we discussed the other day and we've sort of had our time as players and we've been involved in these games it's great that we're able to to lead our team um, it, you know we work really hard together we look forward to seeing each other and it's going to be um, it's going to be a good occasion for us and look, it's nothing more than the players deserve and the club deserves um, and it's a game where, you know, it's a, it represents a really good opportunity for us to to do well and to keep growing our club. I think we've done that well over the last five or six years. And, um, yeah, look, we're, we're, we're really looking forward to the game. What are you expecting from Bristol Rovers, from your opposition? Well, they're going to be good, aren't they? You know, it's uh, I know Matt Taylor really well. Obviously, we've dealt with uh, closely with him and his staff, Wayne Carlisle, at... Um, when they were together at Exeter, um, a club that we play pretty much every pre-season, had, had and have still got a really good rep, you know, um, relationship with. Um, we've had many a lone player from Matt. He likes the way we play, and I like the way that it, the, how disciplined his players are. We've, um, I like the way he coaches. I think his team are going to be physically very good. And they're going to be powerful. They've got good pace in wide areas um, that link well with. The centre forward, so it's going to be, it's going to be a tough, tough game for us. But it's, um, it's a challenge that we're looking forward to, both as players, as individuals, and us as, as staff in terms of pitting our wits against someone um, like Matt and a, and a big club like Bristol Rovers. Just talk us through your preparation for the game um, and what you're doing during the week. Does it differ to any other game? No. Well, I think you can fall into a trap of trying to change things and do things a little bit different. I think for for us, we're, we're quite consistent in, I would say, pretty much everything we do. Um, we're certainly consistent in our behaviours and how we train, how we coach, the periodi periodisation of when and what we do with the players um, has been important for us. We were on the back of a three-game week um, last week, um, three tough games in which we got seven really valuable points so tonight the players will be in and they'll train as normal on a Tuesday it'll be a little bit lighter it'll be part recovery part focused on Bristol Rovers um, clearly we know less about them than we would a team that we come up against more regularly so we've had to um, go a little bit deeper in terms of the, the preparation around that um, but in terms of how we prepare the players it won't be any different to a normal game um, we'll do most of our prep on Thursday evening, ready for um, ready for Saturday. And I just look, we're going to go and watch their game 
in which we may not find out too much in terms of team selection but I think it would be remiss of us not to not to go and have another set of eyes on 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 that it represents a good opportunity for us to to have a look and there might be something there that that, that can help us um, we're, we're very thorough in what we do um, as, a, as a as a whole football club but as staff certainly and um, yeah that we'll prepare the lads like we do for every game um, and the only difference being lately you know we've had three game weeks so we played Saturday Tuesday Saturday with very little time to prepare obviously between the Saturday for the Tuesday game so at least we've got that extra day this week which um, which would be good for um, their minds and their and their bodies really in terms of the players so yeah and that will keep things how we've been doing it we've been successful up to this point and um, yeah we won't be changing too much now our supporters have almost sold out the second allocation how big a part can they play on Saturday? And just talk us through the support all season, really. Even going to Lowestoft, uh, a real long journey. A lot of them went there and back all in one day. They can play a really big part, can't they, on, on Saturday? Yeah, well, obviously, we were here for the, for the draw when the, when the draw was made. Um, you know, obviously, it was there's some great scenes here. Obviously, the, the location between the two clubs. And there's, a, there's not a rivalry as such because there's a lot of people that support Western Supermare and Bristol Rovers and or Bristol City so um, that's just where we are location wise I think it's, it's it's captured the imagination of a lot of people um, I think we're pretty close to selling out our, our allocation I think when we counted earlier we're at only a handful of tickets left so that's that's something to be proud of, um, not just from management point of view and support point of view, but also the way the club have navigated those ticket sales um, you know, there's lots that people aren't uh, probably aren't aware of that go on behind the scenes to make sure those things run smoothly. So I think from a logistics point of view, the club can be really pleased with with how we've navigated our way through through such a such a big time with such big interest. I mean, our supporters have got a really wonderful connection with the players. That's that's um, evident, win, lose or draw. Um, and I think that's growing. We get, you know, a band of supporters now travel wherever we are. Um, and like I said, that connection between the players and them is is key. And um, yeah, they can play a huge part on on Saturday. And I'm looking forward to them all being in one place um, behind the behind the goal. And hopefully, they can uh, help generate what what should be a really good atmosphere. Just take us now into the dressing room before the game. What will your final message be to the players before they step out onto the pitch? Well, we do a lot of our prep really on a Thursday before we, before we get there, and I think uh, any any um, any questions and that need answering gets done sort of then really. Um, a lot of our prep will be will be done and sorted previous, but really just. To, carry on doing what we're doing don't change you know the, the, the occasion's going to be brilliant but we can't allow the occasion to take over from our focus of starting the game well winning individual battles um, defending well to give us a platform in which to sort of grow into the game so uh, for me the message would be look assigned every one of those players for a reason um, we've got like just said a while ago that we've got a real good mixture of experience there's some boys there that have played in some huge huge games in their career their experience is going to be important for us we've got a sprinkling of players as well that we think can play a lot higher than the level we're currently at and this will give them a, a platform and a springboard hopefully to try and achieve that like we've done in, the, in, in previous years with Ryan Jones and Joel Randall and Lloyd Humphreys and James Morton. Um, you know, we always challenge the players who's going to be the next one of those. Um, and clearly in our squad, we've got a number of talented boys that we feel can grow and they'll carry on growing with us until such point that we can't sort of hold them back anymore. And then we go and find the next best one. Um, so look, my message to them will be just believe, enjoy it. Don't let, don't let it pass you by because, um, you know, we worked incredibly hard to get to this stage and it's, um, it's a, we've made a lot of people proud along the way and we're looking forward to, to the challenge. Great. Thank you, Scott. Cheers.